Stunt doubles and actors don't always get along. Sometimes, the stunt doubles even take the blame for the stars. And sometimes, the stars are so preoccupied with their own stunts that there is hardly any room for the stunt actor to step in. If you want to know which actor from the cast of Lucifer did what, then just keep on watching. Because here are the Lucifer stunt doubles' worst scenes. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 5. Leslie's stunt double rarely ever gets used. Now, here's something that we should definitely talk about. Actress Leslie Ann Brandt doesn't like letting her stunt double do almost any of her scenes. The cast has even said that out of all the stunt people on set, she's the one that's almost always sitting on the bench. Why is that? Because the actress playing Mazakine wants to bring justice to her character. She read the comic books, saw that the maze inside is one tough cookie, and she wants to bring justice to such an iconic female character from the show. In order to do this, Leslie Ann Brandt is training constantly, and her Insta feed is flooded with pictures from all of her workouts. She even has a personal trainer that works with her and helps her to stay in shape so she can perform all of those daring stunts and still minimize the risk of injury as much as possible. Plus, just like all the other stars on Lucifer, she too takes choreographed fighting lessons. But we can't compare her to anyone else. She's head and shoulders above the rest of the cast. Just as a quick heads up, if you want to see where Lucifer's stunt double was clearly visible, then just keep on watching till the end. Number 4. Leslie's stunt double would have been included more often in Season 2. Before we talk about this scene, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy, and you keep getting these videos for free. Now, let's talk a little bit more about Masakine and her stunt double, Anisha Gibbs, who should have definitely played a bigger role in Season 2. Now, why in the world would we say that Anisha should have been in more scenes instead of Leslie? Didn't Leslie do a great job with the scenes? Of course she did! She did a phenomenal job at those kick-ass fighting scenes. But there was a little problem. You see, when Lucifer was filming their season 2, Leslie Ann Brandt was pregnant! She should not have been going through all of that trouble, and she should have let Anisha take the bolt of the stunt work. But should isn't always going to. And as we all know right now, she did most of her own stunts. Luckily, there were no complications with her pregnancy, and the crew took precautionary measures to make sure she didn't get injured in the process. And now, she's one proud mama. Number 3. Tom Ellis' stunt double took the heat for the star. Mike Carpenter was one of Tom Ellis' stunt doubles. As far as we know, the stunt double doesn't want to reveal too many secrets about the life of the stars he plays alongside with, but he made an exception for Tom. You see, Mike was once the stunt double for the actor Jared Padalecki once, but then from Season 1 and Season 2, he was the stunt double for Tom Ellis on Lucifer. So, the story began with Carpenter telling the interviewer that Tom is the kind of guy you'd like to go out to a pub with, get a cold one, and eat a plate of nachos with, while talking about the game. That being said, he and Tom took that iconic old-timer vet out to an airport runway, where they were supposed to do some pretty wild stunts. One of the stunts included racing a private jet along the tarmac. And yes, this meant they would be going fast, <laughs> really fast. Now, this wouldn't have been a problem if it was just another run-of-the-mill shooting location. But no, this was an airport that had very strict rules about driving really fast near the airport hangars. Despite all of the rules, the vet is never going to be bound. As Mike put it, quote, One thing about that vet is that it likes to go fast. While they were going back and forth, Many of the workers were giving them the stink eye, but there were no major problems that day, and Tom and Mike wrapped up a perfect day. Or it would have been perfect had it not been for this one worker. You see, just as they were wrapping up, Mike was driving the car near the hangar area, and one of those bitter workers was just looking to pick a fight after eyeing them the entire day. He got close to Mike and said, quote, I don't give a bleep who you are and who you think you are. Any more speeding around and I'm shutting you guys down. What's funny about this situation is that the worker thought Mike was Tom, and he was trying to be a big shot TV star who thought the rules didn't apply to him. But then, Mike revealed that he wasn't speeding, and he wasn't the star of the show. But since both of them dressed the same for the show, confusing one for the other is easier than you think. You're welcome. Number two. Here's how many people it took to shoot the fight scene at the end of Season 5. Do you see all of those people on the stairs? 
This is how many people it took to shoot that one epic scene at the end of the first part of season five. You know the one. Michael convinced Maze that he can give her a soul, and then she turned her back on Lucifer, so he and Amenadiel had to fight Maze and Michael. Then, just as they were ready to finish each other off, God intervened and tried to reconcile them. Well, it turns out this was much more complicated than it seemed. First of all, Lucifer needed two stunt doubles, one to play Lucifer and the other to play Michael. Then, DB's Amenadiel needed a stunt double and Leslie Ann Brandt's Maze needed another one. That's a total of seven people on the set. And things get even more complicated if you take into account that Lucifer needed to play two characters here. And if that wasn't enough, the costumes were a completely different story. Here's what photographer Joshua Coleman wrote about this picture. Quote, it is tough keeping track of everyone's costumes. Each character had multiple shirts, pants, jackets that all had different stages of sweat and damage. You usually have a size that fits them and then a bigger size in case you have to put stunt pants under the outfits. Elbow pads, knee pads, back pads, you name it. Staying safe is key. After hearing that, we definitely know that shooting these scenes is more difficult than we ever could have imagined. But all that complexity must have gotten to them because there were some fans who pointed out that you, you hid my mother from me. How did you? I'm sorry, Mace. Number one, you could clearly see Lucy's stunt double in the epic fight. And finally, we have to talk about a minor slip up that happened during the last fight, where even time stopped when the biblical creatures were brawling it out in the police department headquarters. Because some of the Redditors knew how difficult it would be to shoot such a scene, they decided to watch the scene in slow motion and see if there were any quote-unquote mishaps that made it into the final cut. And sure enough, they found one. If you go and rewatch the scene where Maze pushed Lucifer through that window and you slow down the video, you can clearly see that it's the face of the stunt double that's being pushed into the shards of glass. As one Redditor put it, quote, isn't him until they focus when he's on the ground. Hollywood magic! And you know what? We didn't actually notice this, but we guess you can't slip anything past a dedicated Lucy fan. On a related note, Tom Ellis' stunt double suggested he auditioned for the role of James Bond. Do you think he could pull it off? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.